So here's a problem. I've got Lindsay walking from outside to inside, and there's a big color shift as she goes from one to the other. So how do we adjust this? Well, the first thing that I want to do is make this shot look good. Go to our scopes, and with the scope showing, okay, my highlights are a little high, so we'll just pull our, our highlights down. Pull the white top. Notice the white, as I adjust the whites, it adjusts the maximum value of my clip. And as I adjust the blacks, it adjusts the minimum value of my clip. Once I've got the minimum and maximum value set, I then look at highlights and say, how much do I want that background to bloom? Notice how the background gets really hot. I pull it down a bit. So I want to have the background because this is all a highlight. Her face is a shadow to a mid-tone. We'll pull her face up right about there. We'll sort of adjust the highlights and the exposures are related. Okay, shadows are still a little bit up. Pull that down just a bit because she's got a black shirt on. Okay, so that's set. Now, I want to have the color change as I lose the daylight right here. And I want to have it become into your, in, inside here. How do I do that? This is the tricky part. You have to go to effect controls. And you scroll all the way down to where you get to a, a Lumetri color. And I have to show that which I'm going to adjust. I'm going to be adjusting basic correction. And I'm going to be adjusting creative. And what I have to do is I have to set a keyframe, which now grabs all the values that I've got. And click the stopwatch, which sets a keyframe for everything that I'm going to change. It'd be nice if there was a single button, but there isn't. Then under creative, I'm going to adjust... Uh, probably vibrance and saturation, and the color wheels. Because I've set the keyframe here, those keyframes have accepted all the settings I made at the beginning of the clip. So everything remains the same from the first frame to here. Now I go to the second frame, there, and I'm going to enable a mask, just because I'm in a hurry, enable a mask on her arm. There we go, right there. And I'm gonna look at the scopes and say, okay, that's leaning toward too green. Because I've set keyframes on all of this stuff, I can now adjust the color wheels. And say, let's just move this up a bit. There we go, move it toward the skin tone line. Then let's take a look at basic correction and let's pull exposure up. So it's a little bit brighter, right about there. And now we'll take the mask off here. Okay, a little bit too, okay, it's bright enough, a little bit too saturated. We'll take some of the saturation out and we'll go back to color wheels. We'll take a little bit more of the green out and we'll just adjust this away from green right about there. And because I've set keyframes at this first position, whenever I change the setting, it automatically sets a keyframe at the second position, as you can see here. Now as I play the clip, it starts in daylight. And now the first keyframe kicks in. It takes out that color cast. And we're back to looking good on the inside. I'll play that once more. It would help if we could apply keyframes directly over here and apply keyframes by section. But we can't. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on videoscopes and color grading in Adobe Premiere Pro 2025. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 383. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. 
Plus premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software. We update it every month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks 